defeat to end a tough week of away games. What do you say to your players after that? Uh, well, so um, we had a tough first half and we said in half time, OK, we are pleased we are, but no, no, we have to stay in the game, but we didn't. But then we had a good comeback in the last part of the game, so but that is the fight what we have to show. Was it Newcastle's pressure? Did it just get too much? Uh, there are always reasons, but we will talk tomorrow with the team about it. And um, so um, the rewards are for uh, Newcastle United. Um, we go back, we will talk about this, and then we move on to, um, to Wednesday. You're unable to find a goal tonight. What's the biggest concern for you from the performance? Well, as I said, I will talk with my team. Um, in the end, uh, we stayed in the game and we had some um, good chances by Rick Leon. Uh, it was a clearance on the line. We, we thought we, we scored a goal, uh, it was uh, just uh, offside. Um, so we could have draw. but all over, you have to say, Newcastle, uh, they deserve to win. Newcastle United won Manchester United 0. A horrible display away from home, tactically, so cooked that I was almost burying my head inside my blanket because I couldn't watch it. Our midfield was dead, literally dead. We could not even respond to those <laughs> passes of the Newcastle through the midfield. No one was near it. Yeah? Ten Hag, who the hell starts Marshall and Rashford together and you know they are all lazy. And you were playing against Newcastle. I don't have issues. There was times when you would play Marshall and Rashford and get the hell out of those two players because they have a chemistry. Then you have the Rashford right now and Marshall that is, has been tired the entire time he was Manchester United. And then you put them together to be your attack. Against what? Newcastle. With Gordon. Isaac. Oh my God, you are killing me. Rashi. Somebody get trash for the girlfriend because we know the biggest problem of like go view last season when Rashford had a girlfriend. Do you know that Rashford lack of form started when they broke up? Go check it out. The date when they broke up and when Rashford stopped actually scoring regularly. You will see what I'm talking about. Somebody get Rashford MBE a girlfriend. I'm tired of talking about one thing over and over. And then just last time, he was given a penalty in the, with an excuse of getting his conf confidence back. No, he didn't get his confidence. Instead, it actually took the, 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 the whatever, whoever took him to Juju left of him and actually buried everything about Rashford. And they just left an empty, careless, heartless player. Where is the boy? Where is the homebred Rashford? Just like Rashford Manchester is red, where is that boy? Where is the boy of the Stratford end? He is not here. We need him. And he's not here. And then, guys, let me tell you one thing. If it was not only of the situation, I would be a better defender than those entire left back and right backs we have called Wan Bisaka and. In fact, the entire defense of Manchester United today. I would defend better. I'm telling you, it is not bragging. Because tell me a defender that would get the ball back just inside their box and they will be hovering around it waiting for one of them to clear. Like, like my friend, I would actually take on my own defender trying to clear that ball because that is not the place the ball is going to sh should be when you are an attack. Not even for a second, people. As a defender, like, were we taught differently as defenders where if you get a chance to get the ball inside the box when you are being attacked, the only thing you think about is placing that ball far, far away from your own box. Was I taught wrongly? Because sometimes I'm like, clear it. But I think I over screamed and now Dalo took it personal and he was almost scoring. Like if he, he was not scoring, he was conceding a penalty at that moment. We are so thankful that Yahweh just said we are not going to get so much from Newcastle. And it had body to hand or the lower arm. And that is how safe we became all of a sudden. But one... And then you have Maguire. Maguire, I know you are trying to help the team. But why did you just have to be there at that moment? Why? We would be talking about Anthony's one goal of the season. And you... You are there. Like, Maguire is one person that will actually help you win a match. He will be the same, same person that can actually make you not win a match. By either being offside, 
Oh my god. That is this is twice this season that Maguire has been found in such kind of circumstance. Unlucky. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah? Then somebody now explain the part where I'm watching McTominay start our matches alongside Mahino. I don't have issues with Mahino. You know that. The world doesn't have issues. Who am I to have issues with Mahino? I don't. I only have problems with McTominay because I don't get that what the lineup says and what, what McTominay does is literally different. This guy is supposed to be the support for Mahino. This kid is just 18. And then you get McTominay low somewhere. Like literally, do you know, I can't remember where McTominay was playing the entire match because our midfield could not produce literally anything. We were supposed to be having Maino alongside who? Maxos. Where was Maxos? Nowhere again. And we have to watch that every week. Every week. That is not changing any soon. Tell me. Tell me. But whoever took Bruno's creativity away from him, you would have taken that of Rashford. But the part where you cross the line is taking Bruno's creativity. Because tell me why this guy's free kicks are not even now something you would actually be screaming, waiting for. You would actually tell where Bruno's free kick is going. Wall, you. Or directly to the keeper. Where is the Bruno that used to hide the ball through the free kick and you just see it in the top corner? Where is the Bruno that would actually produce a set piece from a corner kick and actually get an assist? Where is Bruno that will get the ball in the midfield and give a pass to somebody in the right way? Where? I miss my players from last season like somebody take me back to last season. Because I can't take it. I can't take it. Man, like, what the hell are we doing? Like, what are we supposed to be doing? Like, literally, everyone had issues tonight. But I can't explore everyone. Only two chances. The goal that was disallowed and Ganajos. Which Ganacho you can actually, go, like, you don't need to use, oh my God, first touch, right, left, and then you shoot. Like, I, 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 is the goalkeeper that dumb? <laughs> is the goalkeeper that dumb? Bro, Rudy Hivi. Unaona di... Guys, defenders were lying Hivi. Hivi! Why is Ganacho going this way? Straight to this guy. Can't he just... And then there was a lot of space. I'm just thinking out loud. I'm thinking out loud. Forgive me. But Manchester United, tactically, I don't know what the hell we are playing this season. I don't know. Somebody enlightened me. Until then, good night.